far enough. That happens to the best of us. And I'm in my studio apartment right now, so you might hear the old GF rummaging it, once or twice. It's, it's a no concern of mine. You can remove that in post, right? It's fine. God, I had to remove so much stuff in fucking Joe's post. <laughs> <laughs> I was up for like six hours. Oh just my god, I'm so sorry. Stuff. It was it was brutal. All right, but I actually do oh. have a couple questions, uh, both from me and from the community at large. Oh my goodness, community questions. Oh, I feel so so honored. Uh, yeah, All so right. big, important. All right, this first one time. comes from a uh, Jay Gar. He says, "Hey Toto, first time, long time. Uh, do you still have my copy of God of War 2018?" Uh, yes, would be the answer to that question. also have my friend's copy of Sekiro and his copy of Dragon Age Inquisition. This is not Jared Gar. These are just people who I've stolen games from. Ah, it's actually pronounced Sekiro. Is that not what I said? That's exactly what you said. Okay. All right. Good bit. Nice. He actually does have a real question, too. Oh, lovely. He goes, I am genuinely curious about what it is about grapplers that you like so much. Is it because you like grappling in real life or is it something about how they play? I mean, I, I feel like when you're picking your fighting game character, right, there's a little bit of that wish fulfillment, no matter who you are. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what contributes to, to such variety of games and variety of, like, the, the zaniest characters that you can think of is because someone will identify with that character, be it their hair or their eyebrows or whatever, or even yeah. even the play style, right? I mean, yeah, I play Steve Fox because I wish I had a full head of hair. There you so. go. Easy peasy. Uh, that's, that's, Easy. Yeah, it goes from like simple, like, oh, this person looks like me. I want to play them. Uh, to I wish I was as cool as this person. To once you start getting, you know, a little better, once you're, once you're a little more versed in the fighting game archetypes and you've gotten a couple of systems on your belt, it's like, oh, this play style fits the character that I picked 10 years ago and I picked him because I liked the way he looked. The way he you know looked. what I mean? Yeah. Um, and so me playing, so my, my, my grappler life, I suppose the Genesis, I would probably say is dead or alive. Uh, a long time before I was ever playing 2d games. I was a, I was a 3d monster, a 13 year old 3d monster. And uh, I could, you know, crush scrubs at Soul Calibur 2 with the arcades back in the day. And when I was, I think, 14, I was one of the top-ranked Baymans online in Dead or Alive before I ever knew what frame data was. Jesus so Christ. my introduction to fighting games was through kind of that 3D lens. And it was very much through that there's no fireballs. It's about spacing and whiff punishing. So before I ever knew what a whiff punish was, I would still do the thing where you walk in and out of range and yep. X, Y, Z. And so that, that sort of thing kind of came more naturally to me when I started playing 2D fighters than say, sure you can, or FADC to ultra or whatever. For anyone listening who doesn't know what FADC to ultra is, by the way, that is a focus attack dash cancel. It is a street fighter four mechanic and it's hard to do. So. Yeah. I, uh, I can't even do ultras because my hands are destroyed. I'm there, sure you can so. do some ultras if you can. If you can wave shine, you can ultra. Well, let me tell you what I can't wave shine. Oh, I don't believe that for a second. Oh, you're so sweet. This is this is why I wanted to have you on. <laughs> usually, uh, Joe and I just pump up other people on the podcast, but we never say anything nice about each other because you know we're afraid of being uh, effeminate men and being nice. Right, right. But yeah, but you know you you're so you're so nice. See. I just love talking about myself. I'm an ideal podcast guest. I can wax poetic about my shit for 10 hours. So get ready. This, we're, in, we're in this for the long we, we got it. All right. 
I hope, uh, I hope you have a big enough hard no... drive to record this whole conversation. I, I've got several two terabytes. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. So I hope so. All right. I got a but... another question. This one's from our good friend at the pod, Joe. He says, uh, what is your favorite loss to Marty at Fall Brawl? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh well there's only been one. Oh, there's <laughs> <only> been one. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, I think it was Fall Brawl twenty thirteen. Um Okay. And that was the grand final set. I beat him. I put him in losers. Or did he put me in losers? No, I put him into losers that year. And uh yeah, he came back and beat me 3-0 clean in our first set of grand finals and then uh, took the first two games of the second set. And because it was 2013, uh, I just picked Breathless instead of uh, Soulless, which is Abel's Ultra 2. Mm-hmm. And that's it's, it's a very scrubby Ultra, right? You just kind of, Felix Chang called it Brainless on the stream brainless because it was ugh, in super it was re- actually ridiculous in uh 2013 they turned it down a bit toned it down a bit well this was this is the one that you can like hold in charge right? yeah right. you can hold it and charge it it has a hit of armor and it will catch you out of landing frames so it's a super good anti-air ultra um oh, yeah. and the other big thing is that he kind of crouches down into a three-point football stance and mm-hmm. that just like shrinks his hitbox, so you can make weird things with sometimes. And it doesn't go full screen though, does it? It's like three quarters to five. Yeah, it's like three for quarters. sure. Um, yeah, it's a good amount. But definitely, if you're, if you can play the mind games, which the mind game is hold the buttons down until your opponent panics, uh, then, you can definitely yeah. land it with a pretty large consistency for sure. But just just to be clear, there's nothing stopping your opponent from just blocking. It's a grab. It's a grab? I am fairly certain it's a grab. Yes. It's been a 